Hello, and you find me today with a colch. This is my lost umlauts colch. Um, this is a grain to glass. I haven't done one of these in a long time, and the reason I'm doing this is for the 28 day um, challenge set by Sarah Pantry and Graham Preston on the Facebook um, YouTube and Brewtubers page. And the challenge was to just do a video. Um, a lot of people have sort of let it slide, not doing videos and such, myself included. And so I thought I'll have a go at doing this, and this is going to be the grain to glass video of this, my Kolsch. It's been in the keg for just over a week, looking good. So I'll put a little bit of brew day footage up, and also the recipe, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about that. Right, so that's the recipe that I put up. Now I'll go into a bit more detail with the actual malt, etc. So it was four kilos of Simpsons uh, finest Pilsner malt, and then half a kilo of Weyermann's Carapels. Um, it mashed at 65C for an hour with a 10 minute mash out at 75C. Hops wise, it's all sabro. There's 10 grams of sabro at 70 minutes because it was a, an hour 10 boil, and that gave us 18 IBUs. There was another 10 grams of sabro at 5 minutes to go, that gave us uh, 5 IBUs, and then there was a, a 75C hop stand for 20 minutes with another 10 grams, giving two more IBUs, giving a grand total of 25 IBUs. Now the starting gravity is 1.051 and it got down to 1.010, giving us 5.4%. Uh, yeast use, I was going to go with the Kolsch yeast. I thought I had a cross my loop one, but as it turned out, I didn't. So I went with the USO5. It was only the day later I realized it was a Lalamond Kolsch yeast that I actually had, but by then I'd already pitched the USO5. Now I pitched it at 18 degrees and that was for four days, then two days at 20 degrees, and then a day and a half at four degrees for the coal crash. And yes, so this is it. Uh, it's quite well carbonated. I did three minutes at 30 PSI rocking, so the um, CO2 connected to the keg, rocking it while still connected and set it through 30 PSI. I did that for three minutes which gives me a nice carbonation. Uh, no protoflock or any findings were used in this whatsoever. It's been in the keg now um, since a week and two days, a week and two days, I think, is the, uh, no, week and three days, week and three days this has been in the keg and that's how it's looking. I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, aroma, not a lot there on the aroma. We're quite Clean, maybe a little touch of a, a malty aroma. But best. Well, let's go in for the flavour. Oh. 
quite clean or very clean really um, it's not crisp certainly not as crisp as it would be say with a lager malt uh, lager yeast sorry uh, I'm not sure whether using uh, um, the Kolsch, a proper Kolsch yeast would have changed it much um, it's clean it's slightly bitter with a pithy bitterness and like a grapefruit but it's quite mellowed out it's got a little citrus bite about it you wouldn't know it was five percent it's got a nice mouth feel to it and a, a little bit of body um it's not it doesn't taste thin that's for sure it's got a nice carbonation i say and it gives a little bit of cream there to the head which seems to stick to the glass well which is always good for something like a, a pilsner or a lager or a colch and such so I would say this is definitely one of my better brews. Um, did have a friend round to try it earlier today and he absolutely loved it. Um, definitely a summer beer. Definitely I'm going to be rebrewing this in the summer for a bit of sunshine. I keep The sun keeps trying to peek out. And I keep trying to sit and enjoy one in the sun. But then as soon as I get out there, either the sun goes in or it starts to rain or something. Um, Definitely, if you fancy a, a quick, easy brew for the summer and you don't have Novalaga yeast or you don't have the ability to ferment so low, um, I recommend this recipe quite well. Yeah, definitely recommend this recipe. It's a very nice, clean, summery Lomo beer. I mean, 5.4%, not as sessionable as it could be. Maybe drop a bit of the Pilsner malt, but for me, oh, definitely a winner. So, thanks for watching, and as always, like, subscribe, press the bell, bell and all that palaver, but uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.